Hello everyone, welcome to Saj Media. This is Sajan. Today I'm from Delhi. So I traveled from Tokyo to Delhi on 12th of November 2021 and today is 14th. And this was just after the border was open um, for the business trips uh, from Japan. So this was a direct flight. I've taken, I've chosen a uh, direct flight from you know Tokyo to Delhi. So I'm not very sure about the procedures if there's a transit in your itinerary. So please make sure uh, you're checking that information. That's not covering here. So anyway, I think uh, the you know uh, before departure the informations uh, would be same. So maybe you can go through uh, this video to understand more. So as I said, I've taken Air India. So they have to, they're telling basically once you book the ticket, uh, they will send a mail. So you don't have to worry like to search uh, multiple information in different area. Once you book the ticket, you will definitely get the mail and they are covering what are the procedures. So you don't have to worry about that one. So you'll get all the information once you book the ticket. So they are mainly telling five major guidelines for the passengers. One is uh, passenger contact information so you'll have to submit. Second one is the online submission of, uh, you know, self-declaration form and covid uh, negative uh, certificate that was that should be taken within 72 hours then submission of uh, return undertaking to air india then some you know limitation of in-flight services including meals then social distancing in aircraft cabin these are the five uh, major um, guidelines for the passengers so once we just quickly go through uh, each item so submission of passenger contact details is like it is a basic information like your Japan address and Indian address, Japan phone number, Indian phone numbers, maybe some other personal information also. This would be uh, basically on uh, Air India website, that link would be there on their mail. So that information would be shared to uh, Indian embassy in Tokyo for their reference as well. So that's a basic uh, one simple, uh, you know, uh, online submission, that part is done. And second one, uh, online submission of uh, self declaration and uh, negative covid uh, 19 PC, rt pcr test results so that is uh, as i said <clears throat> should be taken within 72 hours for the as per the air india uh, regulations but seems like different for uh, different airlines so we should be very careful i think uh, ana or jal seems to be 42 hours so be make sure that uh, you are just inquiring if you are choosing different but air india it's clear 72 hours okay and uh, along that is that should be the link would be given and the mail so this is an air suvida portal so once you go to the portal you will have to you know fill out i mean your informations like um, personal information passport details flight number you know seat number from which destination to which destination mm, so that kind of information along with that important thing is like your negative certificate covid 19 uh, uh, negative certificate you'll have to upload passport copy you'll have to upload and vaccines of vaccine passport you'll have to upload so this should be uh, in pdf format which that should be within 1 mb of size uh, okay so these three informations and once you submit this information you will get a notification after a few minutes or hours and that you will have to you know take the printout and keep it with you so that also they will check it on the counter check in counter okay so regarding <clears throat> that rtpcr testing uh, there are a few centers in tokyo yeah, i'm referring to tokyo because mainly i know the tokyo part uh, so there are some teams clinic in shinjuku uh, area so that they are actually charging english uh, is required that's mandatory uh, so Shinjuku teams charges around uh, around 16,000 and there are some other clinics as well uh, maybe um, in Edogawa uh, Caps clinic is also giving Kitakasai Caps clinic uh, but they charge around 32,000 for this negative certificate for one person okay so you can choose according your need and <clears throat> and another uh, vaccine passport that is also mandatory <clears throat> so you need to have that information in advance if you don't have it please apply so immediately uh, what i did is like i went to ward office and got some application forms and i f fill it up and then you know send it by post i got it in three days time so you can expect some delay also so accordingly um, that also you need to you know scan it and keep it with you that is required to be in this uh, irc with ssa three things one is this uh, vaccine passport and your passport copy and the negative certificate these are the major things you'll have to do 
and another uh, thing uh, you'll have to do is like <clears throat> some submission of a return undertaking to air india it's like you are uh, uh, giving uh, that air india uh, saying that you are making the journey at uh, your own risk okay that is application form also would be given in the mail so just print it and update the details and uh, give to the you know check-in counter if you don't have it with you maybe anyway they will give it from the counter so you don't have to worry anyway make things everything ready before you if before your departure so that would be you know that will make your travel much easier then another guideline is like you know uh, what is that limitation uh, of in-flight services including meals and that is basically coffee they're sending hot coffee coffees will not be served meals would be served but uh, you know some some <clears throat> you know what is it yeah we need to reserve it that maybe we can meal part just leave it it's not very uh, very um, important topic uh, but the, you can expect that also there will be some you know uh, limitations in that area but definitely we'll have meals uh, and uh, you know whatever required and and social distancing they're asking to wear the mask and uh, uh, face uh, shield right face shield also they will uh, give it from uh, that uh, before the boarding time so you'll have to wear it um, that's it then um, once you reach uh, delhi um, no other formalities uh, i was expecting some you know procedures in delhi and i thought like some uh, tpcr test again to happen in delhi but <clears throat> nothing happened <clears throat> then i <clears throat> just inquired uh, any, anything to be done because i'm coming from Tokyo. they said no nothing you just go no problem that's it uh, but in in another uh, uh, information what i've given is like air suvida application app you will have to download but then nobody's asking basically i downloaded it but i didn't register it uh, but <clears throat> in a regulation perspective they are telling you download it and register it for that also you need to have a local number indian number that's it then just um, uh, update some informations in that app and register it that's it so nobody asked me that one but still uh, that is a procedure so please uh, update that one so this is what uh, um, basically for uh, tokyo to you know delhi uh, i hope you guys uh, this will help you guys uh, to understand those who are planning for the trip maybe um, i'll be back soon so once i'm back to uh, tokyo i'll try to make some another video from what are the procedures from delhi to uh, tokyo by that time maybe rules also may change so thank you guys thanks for watching so keep watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and like and share with your friends thank you bye, -bye.